Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Parasite Eve 2. I am your host, Alexander Frost, and this is episode 11. Now, before Aya takes a nap, we've already cleaned out the dry field uh, hot zone, so the, sound, the town is safe for now. I think from now on, I kind of like the idea of answering someone's question from the comments from the previous video, instead of trying to respond to it. I, I, I don't know, just, just bear with me. Nobunaga Oda 12 asked two questions. I already answered one, which has nothing to do with the video, but the one that does have to do with the video is he's wondering, how is it that Flint the dog is alive? Because obviously, Kyle and Mr. Douglas are alive, but how is it Flint is alive? Well, to answer your question, Mr. Douglas is alive because this is his home, and he's a, I won't say he's a crotchety old bastard, but he is definitely a tough man. Kyle has Air Force training behind him, so he does probably have some survivalist training with him, and that certainly helps. Plus, he and Aya are in the same situation, that they're just in the area. They're surviving off what they can find for now. Stuff in the general store, stuff in the saloon, and so forth. Once this is all said and done, they'll be going home. Now, the reason Flint is alive is a pretty obvious one in my book. Mr. Douglas is a survivalist. He has to be living out here. I mean, the man is, I think, is it Vietnam or Korea? No, Korea happened first. He is a Vietnam War vet. He lost his leg. But he stuck to his guns and stayed in Dryfield when everyone else ran away. He lived in a town where living would normally be hard for just normal people like you and me. Flint is his only companion, which says to me, he takes care of the dog. He probably has a 10-year supply of dog food and more than enough water to keep Flint going. That, and when I look at Flint, judging from the way he moves around, I know it's probably the PlayStation 1 polygons and all that, but Flint strikes me as something of an older dog. You know, not quite as active. Still able to be active when he wants to be but mostly quiet, just kind of wandering around, a quiet companion, relaxed. So he probably doesn't need as much water and food as a younger, more active dog might. All right, we've cleaned up dry field. It's time for a nap. Okay, for a second there, the sound didn't go through. Strange place again. dream again, and that symbol on her arm.
And this, boys and girls, is the burner, which I refer to as Boss Burner. I don't know why. And he is not to be trifled with. Attaboy, Mr. Douglas. Oh yes, um, I nearly forgot. The other question Nobunaga 12 had was, why is it Aya can go to sleep comfortably knowing that there are NMCs around that could kill her at any time? Uh, I think the answer to that is the same reason why she was able to wake up suddenly when Kyle had a gun in his face. Her PE abilities protect her. Now, speaking of protection, a little antibody. And not a moment too soon! A little antibody. Now we run to avoid the fire. There are lots of things I would like to say, but ow, what about it? Oh, you missed. Okay. A little spiel I want to say. This fight is timed. If we do not fight fast enough, Flint will die. So we need to be on our toes. I'll say more when this is all said and done. Now, this is the reason why we wanted Necrosis. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it can poison him. Oh, don't you do it. Ouch. It's my own fault. It's kind of bad when the initial poison is... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Ah, the poison wore off. Necrosis level 2 lasts a long time. Did I reload in time? I did not. It's going to reload really, really slow, but it's okay. Necrosis level 2 would have let the poison last for the entire two fight. Which is okay. Ouch. There's a long spot for that. No, 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 don't you do it. Keep going. Pretty simple fight. Keep popping grenades in him. Whenever your antibody and energy shot run out, well, you are. Yep. Get me out of the way in time. Alright, I think it's time for a little Healy goodness. After I use antibody, which just wore off. Nope, 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 nope. Now, there was one thing I did want to mention. Um, there is an item you can get called the Monk's Robe. I know, this is not the best time to say it, but... There's an item called the Monk's Robe, which is like the best armor in the game for Aya. It's a very PE ability centered. But the only way to get it is to get a low rank, the L rank, and the only way to do that is to avoid pretty much every battle in the game and getting a low, low score. Now, I've been told that about halfway through this fight, you can literally run back down the stairs and leave. I don't think this is true. We're not going to find out, but it just popped into my head. All right. All right. He's probably going to take a swing at... Nope, he's going to try and burn me. Reload, 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 shoot him in the face! Get squashed, stand up, oh right. Healy goodness, which I no longer have enough MP for. That's okay. That's what protein capsules are for. Alright. From this point, I have to fight very fast. If he runs out of flamethrower fuel, then he'll just stomp away angry. So I've got to fight quickly. You know, that's very, very hurtful, and I don't appreciate that. I got antibody, bitch. I can take the hits. <sighs> Ouch, this is gonna sting! It's okay! It's basically coming into a battle like battleships. It's just... I'm just taking the hits at this point. What? Oh, don't tell me he... He couldn't have run out of fuel. Did he run out of fuel? Oh, please die. Please die. Be a good boy and die. That was unusual, though. I was like, no, I'm not gonna die yet. I'm gonna finish crushing you, even though I'm out of HP. Then I'm gonna die.
And our results, we got a whopping 2,000 EXP, 1,000 BP, 100 HP and MP, which gives us back all of our health, thankfully. Plus, we got a protein capsule, which I will take, and a third type of grenade ammunition, the airburst grenade. Um, basically, it's an area of effect type grenade. The grenade pistol, or the standard grenade, is just a high-powered directed blast. So when it hits a target, it does damage to that target. The only way it can hurt other targets is if the two have clipped together. The airburst is great for groups of enemies, just like combustion is, but it's a pretty rare type of ammo. And to be honest, I don't find it all that useful, so I'm not going to take it with me. <sighs> so everyone is safe. Here's the thing. Because of the amount of damage done by the burner, not to mention the fact that, hey, he destroyed the balcony, where I was positioned during the battle would determine, or not so much that is, um, your placement at the end of the battle will determine where you go, actually, yes. Because if I had been closer to room 6, or whatever room that is down there at the bottom, I wouldn't be able to go back to my room at all. I would have to actually go down the stairs around blah 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 blah. Whereas here, I can actually go back through my room, drop off stuff I don't need, like the grenade launcher. I'm no, I'm not going to put that away. I'm going to keep that on me. I'm just going to swap it out. Wrong button. Now about the dream. Oh, and in refer to that lovely cutscene, I is a leggy little thing, ain't she? All right. Move, put that back over here. Exchange that for that, because we don't need the grenade pistol anymore. Well, we will, but not right now. Oh, the protein capsule. Her, 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 her. We'll be using that. And that actually wasn't as big an MP intense battle as I thought it would be. Uh, now, let me think. I was thinking something about, wow, I used only like 10 grenades. Huh. So how many of that? 54? I had 54. So I only used like 12 grenades. Maybe I should have counted, I don't know. Uh, I was worried about the amount of ammunition I had as far as the M4 was, which was one of the reasons I was thinking about grabbing the, um, the M9 again and using Parabellum rounds as a backup, but clearly I didn't need to. Now, if you remember back during that little dream sequence that I was having, the little girl had an odd symbol on her arm. And it looked kind of familiar. Those double X's bent together. It was the same as that little girl's, that little girl's arm. Now, granted, it was a small detail to notice, but, I mean, it was bright green against a black suit. But, obviously, our attention was diverted elsewhere. Those giant green men. Who are they? And why do they look so much like number nine? And, finally, quite possibly the most terrifying thought. The burner was an a and MC. Clearly, it was created. That means it must have come from the shelter. Shelter is more than just a nest that was taken, was more than just a place that was taken over by NMCs as a nest. The shelter, it seems like, is quite possibly a place where these ANMCs were created, which is kind of a terrifying thought. Even more terrifying is the thought that that place had a facility, is a facility, it has a room somewhere big enough to house the burner. And the other thing that's terrifying is the NMCs and the ANMCs. Yes, they have been wandering into dry field and whatnot. But this one was clearly aimed at us. Something that big, stomping around the desert at random. Someone would have noticed something, even on satellite photos. Someone would have been like, it's not right. And it just so happened to wander to the only town for like a hundred miles in the dark. This a and c was clearly aimed at us. Better report back in. Oh! Nice of you to join us, Agent Bolt. I mean, boss. 
Yeah, we're heading to the shelter. Thing was fucking huge. Way bigger than an elephant. That was easily mastodon bigger. Well, no, there were a few biggins in uh, New York. A few biggins. Not quite like that, but... but... There's nothing left at the Acropolis. It's a pile of rubble. You ever feel like you're being thrown into dangerous situations just to see how long you'll last? You ever feel like that? Well, folks, whoops, ignore that. You didn't see that. Because there might be a chance I might die, and I don't want to have to fight Burner again. It's time for everyone's favorite pastime, cleaning up dry field again. And boy, is it dirty. Now, here's the thing. The big problem is that the balcony is destroyed, so in order to get to the stairs, I'm actually going to have to go down through the water tower, through the GNR parking lot to Main Street. The other problem is, our little driveway uh, shortcut there, that's gone. I mean, the driveway itself is still there, but that little gate next to the ice machine is destroyed. Which means, if we want to get to that back area, we either have to go through the water tower, or through the watering hole. So, how am I going to do this? Alright, I'll go clean up the loft real quick. Down through the water tower, GNR Saloon. This is the last hot zone in Dryfield. Through the GNR Saloon parking lot to Main Street to check on Mr. Douglas. Clean out those four rooms. Go and clean out the general store in the alleyway back there. Then I'll have to turn around and take the long way back around. Go up the stairs while I'm on my way back and clear out that room and then make my way to the garage where I can drop off all of my stuff because I do need to go to the gas station because I'm gonna get my parabellum rounds yes so first let's go clean out the loft wait is there anything in here anything at all that I can possibly need because this is like one of the last chances I'm gonna have to get into this thing okay let's see what do we have we've got hydra rounds I want those uh, the cola, I definitely want to take that with me. The rest of it, I don't need. It can stay here. And the rest of my Hydra rounds, I want my Hydra rounds, not the Parabellum rounds. I can get PB rounds anywhere. The Hydra rounds, I want. Okay, I got this. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak. You know, I just realized I probably should have upgraded combustion to level 2 while I was here. Eh, live and learn. Just to increase its power range and all that good stuff. Alright, what did I get? Firefly! Yes, I have got to take those with me. Wait, no, I put them in the truck, so it's all good. Uh, PE Energy! Well, pyrokinesis and combustion have been lacking, so... Oh! Well, let's read it off first. Activates mitochondria in the skin, causing combustion. Heavy burns on the target. Complicate cutinous respiration. Fucks up your, your ability to breathe, apparently. Now at level 2, improved combustion. Greater range of effect. Sears through lungs. Ouch. Causing internal burns may cause suffocation. And what will it cost to upgrade it completely? My god, 4,000. Casting cost never goes down. It's always going to go up. But the ATP, the active time penalty, or the amount of time it takes to actually cast it, will go down. Which is kind of nice. Pyrokinesis. Activates, uh, yeah, we already did that. What can I do to upgrade it? I am just shy. But you know what? I'm pretty sure we're going to get enough EXP along the way to level it up. I should be upgrading my uh, metabolism too. I'm gonna say it plain out right now, folks. As far as the PE energy is concerned, I am going to be maxing out fire and water because these two are far more useful. Necrosis and plasma, I am probably not going to upgrade past what they are. Plasma level three, maybe but highly doubtful. 
I mean, that was the one time during the boss burner fight, that was the one time I would actually use Necrosis. If I use it any other time, it's just one of those situations where it'll be like, eh, why the fuck not? Antibody and Energy Shot, I will push up to level 3, but the third ability that gets unlocked, I will not be using it or unlocking it at all. So, water and fire are my fortes. And excellent fortes too, I might add. I'm just glad I'm not going to get ambushed. That would make me sad. This is an ambush zone, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was. I assumed that it was. I apologize if you can hear the construction going on outside. I hear exploding diarrhea babies! You know, that's what I'm calling them from now on. Fuck! Ha <laughs> ha! Wait! Where did you come from? Oh! Did you fall asleep behind the bar? Didn't even notice him. Alright, now I can... No, wait, no, it was... 12.50. Oh, yeah, I'm still short. Wait, can I actually start fiddling with this jute box now, or is it past that point? I like my smooth jazz. Leave me alone. It's good stuff. Desert chases. One more time. Why am I locking on to... There we go. Oh, I hear skeletons. Skeletons. <laughs> Listen to me. I hear scorpions. What's up? Oh, did I knock you down? It's only two, but... Oh yeah, by the way, two flame whips now. You know what? I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna give myself a reason to have to upgrade. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, I got an item. What did I get? A flare. You know, I'm actually not gonna use it. I wait! Oh, I just realized there was a place coming up that I could have used it. Oh well. Too late. Oh, uh... No, I'll catch it on the way back. Oh, before I forget, though... Nice. It's gonna cost 3,000 to upgrade. Okay, so 7,000 to get Pyrokinesis and Combustion up to level 3. It's gonna take a while. So this is an improved Pyrokinesis, greater accuracy. It fires two balls of fire so close together that it looks like one, which is pretty awesome. Now, this is going to be a long video because I want to finish cleaning up dry field. See, the thing is, once we head into the garage and uh, take off to go to the shelter, that's the end of disc one, and then there's no save point for a while. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'll go to the garage, drop off my stuff, Kyle will be all like, you ready to go? And I'll be all like, no. I'll drop off my stuff, go to the trailer coach and save, and then next time, will actually begin the journey to the shelter and all that good stuff. But before we can do any of that, we need to clean up dry field slash dry zone one more time. And if you're wondering why Main Street is clear, that would be because Mr. Douglas with his shotgun is still here. What's up, buddy? Hey, Flint. Yeah, that's a big fucker. He was pretty big. Wow, he was stepping on landmines? Oh good, the truck is in good condition. Excellent. 
Thank you, sir. Now that right there, children, says something about how big, strong, and tough this ANMC was. He was stepping on landmines, and we couldn't tell. There was no visible representation of him getting hit by the mines. I'll just help him where I could. Wow, that was... That was kind of dirty, Mr. Douglas. That was kind of dirty. I'm going to go kill the NMCs in this room now. No, he just has a present to thank us, but, you know... If he had said something like, I have a gift to thank you, there's a lot of things in here, and I'm going to burn everything. Oh, they're in. You know what? Burn them. Burn them all. Hee. <laughs> I did not get a lot of MP back for that, but you know what, it's okay, because in the next room I'm going to try not go so, you know, combustion heavy. And he's gone! He has taken off, he's back in his, uh, his shelter, in his trailer. Safe and sound where he should be. What do we got? No, 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 no! Yeah, there was no way around that, that was just going to, this is going to suck. Sting me! Yeah, there we go. Nope. You will shoot them. You will not. Ah! There was acid there. Don't sting me, motherfucker. There we go. Just step on the acid. Just, just step on the damn acid. I don't care. I did it on purpose, so it's not like I was being as stupid as Kyle was. Oh, that's much better. Alright, two more rooms. I'm just glad the underground area wasn't, uh... The well. I'm glad the well wasn't, uh... Infested again, too. <sighs> easy room is easy. Apparently they're eating something, and it's too important for them to eat it to notice me, which is fine. What would we get? I take it with happiness. What do we got? Oh no 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 no! no get off! Don't don't get off! And that's what happens when you let them explode on you. Why, in the name of all that is good and holy, did you let that happen, Aya? That's why you don't let the exploding diarrhea baby stick you. Because that. <sighs> I'm not a master at this game, but I do love it. I love it a great deal. Isn't this an ambush zone? It's not. Well, it should be. <laughs> I'm gonna be all uppity about it. Why is nothing ambushing me, damn it? I'm ready. Oh, we have a lot, a lot of Hydra rounds. Me likey. You're probably wondering why I'm taking them with me. Well, we're going to be getting a hold of a pretty decent handgun before long. Okay, that's an ambush zone. I'm not an ambush, but... What am I shooting? I keep wanting to call them skeletons, but they're scorpions. I don't know why I keep making that error. Pardon me a moment. There we go. My uh, headset's trying to go out on me. I have to do one of those things where I jiggle the cord just right so the sound was trying to fade away. All right.
right, there's something back here, isn't there? Yep, bang. Hiya. There you go. I thought you were a marksman. No, no, no. Crap, out of ammo. Probably gonna run into desert chasers again, even though we don't want to. You know, it would be nice if they put something else in that alleyway. Show a little imagination, guys. Don't just throw the same thing at us. Okay. Alright, that was definitely imaginative. I was not expecting brain stingers. I mean, brain sucklers, I'm sorry. I would have to say that was definitely a surprise. Brain sucklers along with a desert chaser would have been dangerous. Hell yes, more hydra rounds. Always and forever more hydra rounds. Please, with all happiness. With all happiness? Let's see, I did get the buckshot in here, didn't I? Yes, I did. Or whatever was in there. That someone said, hey, you missed it, go get it. Yes, I got it. Fuck. No, 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 no. I, 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 there you go. Alright, what you want to do... No, 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 back up, back up, back up, back up. Don't get his attention. I think they largely just don't give a fuck about me right now. And I'm okay with that. I know, you could probably barely see what's going on. And for that, I apologize. I promise, though, once we get to the shelter, it's going to be all brightly lit and you'll be able to see everything in wonderful, wonderful detail. We'll even start encountering new enemies, if you can believe it. You didn't think we'd be fighting the same old stale enemies over and over, did you? Okay, we need to start heading towards the water tower. Back to the GNR saloon and all that good stuff. If I remember correctly, I believe we've only got that one room. What's left? Yep, just the room upstairs and the junkyard, and we will be done. Dryfield will be safe at last from the NMC threat, because we will be taking the fight to their home. Oh yeah, just to get it marked on the map here. Is no good. Door has been smashed. No longer can we go through. So enjoy that shortcut while you can, because eventually it'll go away. Also, if you choose not to destroy the boss burner, if you're going for the um, low rank, no matter what happens, he's going to break the balcony and he's going to break that passageway. So there's just no getting around it. You're going to lose the short. It sucks, yes. But it happens. Ding! Oh, I know that sound. If they're not, if I'm not locking on in here, that means they are in the bathroom. I'm trying to slide without stepping. Burn, you little bastards! I like how the whips close in on both sides like that. It just looks like it's smacking and then opening its hands again. That makes me happy. Riot? Ah, uh, yes. That is the third and quite possibly most useless grenade. It's basically a, a, a flashbang grenade. It, it's worthless. Now, if you could sell items for bounty points, that'd be great, but then it would become, you know, currency more than anything.
Still, a barter system or something would be nice, I guess. It'd just be nice to be able to say, Oh, look, I found this useless ammunition that I can't use or don't want to use. How about I trade it in for a few extra bounty points so I can, I don't know, buy stuff that I can actually use. Ah, uh, well. You can't have it all. And besides, when you think about it, a good philosophy on life is, you can't have everything, but why would you want to? If you had everything, life would be boring. People don't seem to realize that half of the adventure in life is getting it. It makes you appreciate what you get that much more. That's why you see rich people that aren't happy, because they didn't have to work to get what they wanted the most. All they had to do is just, you know, hand out some money. But if you actually work for that money, and put your sweat, blood, and tears into it, when you finally do get it, you appreciate it that much more. Oh, look, it's Mr. Fancy. Where the fuck have you been? I could have used you as a distraction. You just stepped out of time. You, you didn't know... How could you... Yes, I know about the damn shelter. We're on our way there. What? 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 Just get on with it. Retroviruses? Yeah. So? You get vector viruses. Yeah, we know this. So you can put whatever DNA you want in it, so you can make a virus that does whatever you want. So in a way, you could use it for... You could inject a virus with something that makes healing better. Yeah, you can artificially modify DNA. Okay. So, what's that got to do with this? Right. We get sick, we learn from it, we get stronger. Wait. So, are you saying that One could say that NMCs do make good weapons. Oh. Oh, great. That's just wonderful. <sighs> but you make it sound like neomitochondria are some kind of virus triggered evolution? That, in and of itself, is kind of a scary thought. So is this just natural human evolution, then? Well... You know, in hindsight, I probably should have left the belt pouch here. Because now that I think about it, the piece of armor that I want is going to be here. So I have two options. A, carry the belt pouch with me, or B, leave it in the truck. And I don't want to leave it in the truck because once I get to the shelter, it's going to be a long walk from the shelter back to the truck. Oh boy. Well, we've got 40 firefly rounds, 20 R slugs, and a belt pouch. Mm. All right, I gotta think about this one, folks. I gotta think about this one. I always have too many items. 
always too many items. What do I got on me? I have 17 slots. Three slots. I'm going to be getting a really good handgun here really soon. And I'm going to be getting a lot of stuff at Shelter. Damn it. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the two recoveries away. I'll keep the MP boost too. Because I know I'll be able to get more when I get to Shelter. So that's two slots open. I'm going to take the belt pouch and I'll be right back folks. Okay, I went on ahead and went back to my room, or to Aya's motel room. I dropped off the belt pouch in uh, the dresser as well as one of the extra colas. So I have now 14 slots. So I'll still have plenty of room for the really good 9mm gun that I'll be getting soon, as well as other stuff that I'll be picking up when I get to shelter. It means I will be a little bit dry on uh, recovery items, but that's what I've got the recovery to and protein capsule for, and as long as I've got MP, I can, you know, use uh, healing. So it'll be all good. But before we do any of that, we got to clear out one more hot zone buy some extra ammunition for the nut for, for the M4. Damn it, again. Again. Whoa. No doubt, doubt. There you go. I don't know what I shot over here. Ooh, something good? A flare. Yes! I will take it with me, because there is an instance in the upcoming mine segment where I can actually use the flare. Yes. Well, yes, I needed to. And by take good care of her, I mean I'll dump her in the truck and leave her there for the rest of the game because I'll be getting an even better 9mm handgun not too long after that. But this, boys and girls, this large handgun... ...is the M950. Now, some people actually really like this gun. I do not, personally. It's heavy enough that Aya has to carry it the same way she carries the M4. Whenever Aya walks with the M4, she kind of leans slumped over a little bit. This gun does the same thing. It's 100 rounds, full auto, so that makes it pretty powerful for a 9mm. Personally, I do not prefer it. I do not see why everyone likes it so much. Now, I should point out... Where did I put the strategy guide? Oh, under here. I should point out that this is your reward for defeating the burner, for actually killing it and having Flint alive. If Flint dies, however, you still get a reward from Mr. Douglas, but it's not as good as you might think. He'll be sad and heartbroken about the loss of Flint, and he'll tell you to go check the car trunk, the green one that that zebra stalker hopped off of before. He'll tell you to check the trunk. Check it three times, and you'll receive, ironically, a piece of armor called the chicken plate. That gives you, looks like, about 60 HP, no MP, starts with 5 attachments and has HP recovery. It's a flak jacket that was worn by bomber pilots. And the thing is, it has a ceramic plate in it which protects against impact. It's one of the few pieces of armor in the game that can protect you from impact. What does that mean? It means that if you get run into by a desert chaser, you don't get knocked down. Oh, it still hurts. You just don't fall over. Now, Mr. Douglas, before I go, I have but one thing I need from you. Not that. <laughs> I need ammunition. Lots 
of ammunition. I have 42 grenades, you know what? That will be sufficient for my needs. I don't need any more. So we're going to save it here, folks. And next week we're going to go back to Samurai Warriors, and then the week after that... What? 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 Background check... Oh. I'm sorry, I spoiled it a little bit. You did get an initial background check on Kyle Madigan far earlier in the, the day segment of Dryfield, but apparently they went more in-depth. Born in Texas, lives in Irvine, 29 years old. Uh-huh. They served four years in the Air Force. They're right there, Nobunaga. That's why he was able to survive. He's got survival training. He's been a PI in LA for three years. Seems to be on the level. Hmm. Odd how that came at such a time, isn't it? The timing, I mean. Think about it. He gives us the information saying that, yeah, he's on the level, right after we got done yelling at him for not being in town. And speaking of which, how could you not notice a fight like that? Oh, I just stepped out of town. An NMC, the biggest one recorded in history, with a flamethrower in its mouth, bellowing louder than any elephant, than a herd of elephants, goes stomping and tearing through a small town at night. And you're telling me you couldn't hear the fight? I was using grenades to fight this thing. It was stepping on landmines and creating light with a flamethrower, and you missed it. You are either dumb as hell. Yeah, that's it. You're just dumb as hell. Alright, folks, that is it for this video. I will save over it next time save over next time. I will see you next time.